But hey, Farmer John here. I decided to make a video about methanol. Now to show just how volatile methanol vapors can be, I've prepared two bottles just like this, one containing rubbing alcohol vapors and the other containing methanol. Well, I think that speaks for itself, so what do you think will happen if I do the same thing with this bottle? All I know for sure is I'll be using a spark igniter from around the corner on this one. Well that was fun, but it could still be a lot better, so I've prepared this special lid with a half inch hole in it, and this will give us a much more energetic result. Now this seems like a good time to stress the danger of handling methanol. Not only is it highly toxic, but if an ignition source were to come near the top of this bottle while the cap is off, and uh, that could even be a static spark, then the pressure created inside of here from combustion could be enough to rupture the bottle, sending flaming liquid everywhere and burning the fuck out of you. So. Not only should you not try this at home, but if you must use methanol, please be smart about it. Well, there's an interesting result. It was actually ejecting the wires out of the hole and the igniter got stuck in there like a spark plug. Hey, that gives me an idea. Well, I ran out of hot glue, but I think it'll work. Here we go. Three, two, one. Now this was a really interesting result because instead of just completely exploding like I was honestly expecting it to, it built up a whole bunch of pressure inside first and then it, it let go in that hole near the front. Very interesting. Well, I had a lot of fun filming this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it at least half as much as I enjoyed making it. That's all I got for now, so thank you for watching and have a nice day.